Hi, we are at the Black Hills in South Dakota near Keystone, which is where Mount Rushmore exists. And I want to talk about the geology that you're seeing behind me, which makes up a majority of the Black Hills. And that is a Precambrian outcrop of granite. So what happened was millions of years ago, the granite got uplifted during the Laramide orogeny, which is also what uplifted the modern day Rocky Mountain Range. In addition, when that magma rose, it actually fractured the rocks above it, sedimentary rocks primarily, such as the rocks that were in hot springs, where we have the mammoth site, where all the mammoths fell into the sinkhole. But this granite is very, very old. We're talking about over a billion years old, so that puts it in the Precambrian time frame on the geologic time scale. And it is very durable. So we are examining this incredible landscape that makes up the Black Hills. And just a few miles from here is something called uh, Cathedral Spire Rocks. And they are the Precambrian weathering of an exfoliation dome. And basically that's what the Black Hills is. It's just a big dome of magma that has split at the top and it's weathered into these unique formations because of exfoliation, frost wedging and other types of weathering. Behind me you can see some of the granite that is covered with lichen and also trees that are growing through it. So chemical and biological weathering as well as mechanical plays a pivotal role in how these rocks are shaped over time. Hi, we're at Mount Rushmore in South Dakota near Keystone and I want to point out something. Right behind me is President George Washington's base on the front of a big pluton of granite that's exposed here in the Black Hills. Crazy Horse is another monument carved into the same geologic formation and the way this happened was an uplift took the Precambrian aged rock and pushed it up, literally just pushed the whole thing up, causing bunches of sedimentary rocks to vault, to fold, and to erode away. So one of the reasons they had to put Mount Rushmore here and not where there would be maybe a softer rock to carve into is the fact that there needed to be enough strength in the rock itself the entire rock base to hold the four presidents bases. So that, uh, that meant you needed a very stable, uh, very secure rock. So that's one reason their whole bodies aren't put in there as well, uh, that they're just the bases. As we kind of shift gears and look at the rest of the Pluton right here in this area of the highway leaving Mount Rushmore, there's substantial folding and that folding came from the Laramide orogeny as this whole area was uplifted. So if you could imagine a bullseye, maybe even a heart-shaped bullseye, like a human heart, that's kind of what this area looks like. And in the middle of the core is all of this Precambrian aid stuff. And so when it got pushed up, this mountain building event would have caused all the sedimentary rocks, other igneous and metamorphic rocks to squish fold and deform, just as you can see as some of these severely folded areas right where uh, we are looking right now, right where that pine set of pine trees are. In fact, you can see what is almost considered a closed fold here, where rocks were just literally sandwiched together, like you took a piece of sandwich and the top of it, you folded it in the middle and folded the two sides down. So important to understand that the Black Hills is a really unusual geologic story because we have such old rock that makes up the center of this whole section of land with these, a ring of sedimentary rocks around the outside. Everything in between has been radically uh, folded or deformed from the uplift of the Black Hills. More to come, see you at the next stop. Bye.